So, uh, my name is Dirk. I'm one of the co-founders and also CEO of Mr. Specs. Um, as Martha already said, we are selling glasses, uh, sunglasses, and contact lenses um, in, in Europe. We focus on the European uh, market. Uh, and we founded the company eight years ago. Um, when we uh, initially looked at the market, it was quite astonishing um, that there are so many customers um, who need glasses, but two-thirds of them don't have fun buying glasses. Why is that? Ma two main reasons, or three. One is the selection process. Some of you do wear glasses, I see it. Um, so w when you enter a store, right, you see just this huge wall of frames, and typically you need to select one out of the 2,000, 3,000, or 4,000 frames hanging there. And that's a really painful process, because typically opticians are not a lot of help, basically, in the selection process. Second thing is, if you have a frame and you see the price tag, you don't know what the lens is going to cost you because lenses are a product, basically, um, that uh, have insane margins and opticians like to use it, basically, to increase their sales price. And it's very intransparent um, in almost every country in Europe. And the third thing is that typically these lenses are also priced very highly. Um, so, and that's what we, basically, um, started to um, approach. Um, the eyewear market itself, um, it's a, I would say, quite boring market from the outside. It's growing 2 to 5% every year in the Western European countries, and that's done, or like, that's the same for almost uh, 20 or 30 years now. You see online retail, many presentations here, and I think what's interesting um, for our industry that there are a few technologies really helping us to um, increase the share of the online segment and also our market share. Uh, from technology perspective. So one is, obviously, there are more and more virtual reality um, applications that help us, for instance, to have a virtual try-on of prescription glasses. They're getting better in quality um, day by day. And um, you can basically try the glasses on uh, just by a webcam. And it's um, of quite high accuracy. Second thing is that there are even now online eye exams available. There's a company out of the US doing that. Um, and for like standard prescription, you can get online refraction already. And the third thing is that 3D printing will also um, impact our industry significantly. Um, and that's changing. Many of the retailers don't see this today, so that's a big advantage for us. What's our vision actually is really to become the favorite way in place to buy eyewear in Europe meaning to change that, that people don't have fun, helping them with the selection and providing very transparent prices. We are not a pure online retailer. Um, we moved to multi-channel already. And um, what we're doing is uh, we have, very similar to Rene, just who presented from uh, Farad or internet stores, we have many designer brands, but also we have private label. We also offer a very good selection process coming from 4,000 glasses on our website down to one or four, depending on what you need. Um, very transparent prices and savings, and we are a strong believer multi-channel, so what we have done, we built a network of over 550 partner opticians in Germany, Austria, Switzerland already, that provide all the services our clients need, meaning eye exams, fitting services, contact lens fittings, and so on, and they're incentivized mainly by revenue share. So far, Mr. Specs um, is in business for eight years, as I said. We are reaching 100 million in sales this year, and acquired over 200, uh, oh, 2 million customers, and we are operating in 10 countries by now. So it's Germany, Austria, Switzerland, full Scandinavia, UK, France, and Spain, and the Netherlands. Uh, we also have the largest multi-channel uh, retail network in place um, so far. <coughs> As I said, we cover basically the private label segment uh, for the more price-sensitive uh, consumers. And then we also have all the brands available, which we source directly from all the manufacturers. And we go up to Tom Ford, Prada, and so on. Uh, and you still have a good deal um, on these glasses because we are charging much, much less for the lenses, which we get from the same manufacturers as um, all the large retailers. So we do buy from Essilor, Hoya, who are the world market leaders here. Um, and also, we do contact lenses. Um, What's interesting on the prescription segment is um, that's a very high margin um, category. So pres prescription glasses, even for branded products, you average roughly um, a gross margin of 65%, um, which allows you also to spend um, 
a lot of money on marketing to acquire and educate customers how to buy online and to make a multi-channel network with a revenue share model work. Um, we are a strong believer in operational excellence. So what we do is we have everything in-house, meaning um, logistics, customer service, but even our optician workshops on our hotline, a lot of op qualified opticians help you to buy that. Um, we're currently building a new logistics um, uh, hub in Berlin, uh, 12,000 square meter, um, sourcing in more and more of the value chain. And our long-term vision is really in 18 months um, to uh, have all the glasses shipped the same day when you buy. So there's more and more um, technology available on a smaller scale that you can even manufacture the very complex lenses um, within three hours at the same quality um, as the opticians, and we are shipping them with within the same day then. Um, today, uh, that's only about 50% um, of our sales. Um, on the prescription glass side, contact lenses and so on are much easier to ship. We do have everything on stock, so we deliver basically next day. Um, we built our brand already to over 60% brand awareness, helping us basically um, really to uh, drive down the marketing cost in the long run. Uh, we've done that over six years now by TV, but in a smart way really to um, our, uh, that we are profitable after um, marketing um, in these countries where we use TV to scale that. And it helps us really to educate customers um, how to buy glasses online and um, uh, uh, where to buy them, basically. As I said, we are a strong believer in multi-channel. Um, we started out as a pure online retailer for roughly three years. Then in 2011, um, we tested at a smaller scale with independent opticians um, that we work with and partner with a multi-channel approach. We own the customer, but we use basically the optician um, for all the services in the um, prescription segment. And um, by now, that's basically 550 partner opticians, um, as I said. And um, there will be also a significant change in the future um, going to happen. Um, the good thing, as I said, all the retailers are still in stone age when in our industry when it comes to multi-channel, and we want to change that. So, and then after that presentation, typically a lot of people say, yeah, but I don't need glasses, right? And that's not interesting for me. Um, the only answer that we can give you is it's not true because we still have 4,000 sunglasses. Um, we have basically all these uh, brands, um, very fashion, but also very conservative brands. And um, if you want to help me to increase our sales, there's the voucher code, basically. Um, it's valid until Sunday, test it, um, really. And um, you use NOAA 215. And then thank you for the presentation. Thank you, Olive.